Hello, welcome to GTEC. Now let's see about real numbers. So the topics which we are going to cover in real numbers are about the real numbers and we are going to discuss about the terminate and non-terminate concepts. So let's begin with the term real numbers. The definition which we have over here for real numbers are it is said and considered to be a collection of all rational numbers and irrational numbers together it's considered to be the set of real numbers. The representation of real number is denoted by a letter capital R. A real number is either rational number or we can say it as an irrational number. Let's see some of the examples of how the real numbers is all about. As we seen before the representation is capital R. Root 2. The value of root 2 is 1.414 and it goes on. Since the value is going to be repeating, it's an irrational number. We have an other example that's root 25 which is 5. So this is terminated. It gets end stuff. So this is an example for rational number. Let's see some examples. So the question which we have over here is that we got to find any 5 rational numbers that lies between 3 by 5 and 4 by 5. Let us see the solution of how to solve this problem. As we knew, there are infinite rational numbers between 3 by 5 and 4 by 5. But before we solve these kinds of questions, we must have an idea of how to solve these questions. Since we need to find 5 rational numbers, so we must have an idea of 5. So if we want 5 numbers, we got to multiply by 6 divided by 6 on both the numbers. That is in terms of numerator and denominator. If we need to find 6 numbers, then we will be multiplying it by 7 divided by 7. If we need 6 numbers or 7 numbers or 8 numbers and it goes on, the value gets incremented and that is the value which is directly multiplied as the denominator and numerator. With no more doubts, we will just move on how to solve this question. Since we need to find 5 rational number between 3 by 5 and 4 by 5, having 5 in mind, we can just increment the term that is 6 and we can multiply 6 in both denominator and numerator part. On multiplying 3 into 6, it's 18 and 5 into 6, it's 30. Same like that, for 4 by 5, we need to multiply 6 on both the terms, that is in terms of denominator and numerator. On multiplying 4 into 6, it's 24, 5 into 6, it's 30. And it goes on. Now, as per the question, we need to find any 5 rational numbers that lies between 3 by 5 and 4 by 5. So this is the logic which we need to have in mind. Since we have the thing between 8 by 30 is over here and 24 by 30 is over here. Since the term is between, so by skipping 8 by 30, the in between terms are 9 by 30, 20 by 30, 21 by 30, 22 by 30, 23 by 30. Since we will not consider 24 by 30 as it will not come under between concept. So this is how we need to solve these kinds of problems. And as we discussed before, if the question is in this manner, that is instead of 5 if we have 9, then we need to multiply 10 divided by 10 in terms of numerator and denominator part. Hope you got an idea of how to solve these kinds of problems. This is one such simple and easiest way of how to handle these kinds of problems in terms of real numbers. So the rational numbers are 
19 by 30, 20 by 30, 21 by 30, 22 by 30 and 23 by 30. Now let's discuss about terminate and non-terminate. Before we discuss, let us have a clear idea of how the terminate and non-terminate concepts is all about. A rational number can be expressed as its decimal expansion. The decimal expansion of rational number is either terminating or non-terminating recurring. Terminating is nothing but an end up of something. Non-terminating is nothing but it goes on. You can see an example of how this deployment is all about. This is getting to be non-terminating one because this process is keep on going. In terms of a division, if reminder becomes zero after certain states, then the decimal expansion is considered to be terminating one. In the same way, if the reminder never becomes zero but repeats after certain states, then we can simply say that the decimal expansion is non-terminating recurring. Apart from that, the decimal expansion of an irrational number is non-terminating, non-recurring. You must have this in mind because sometimes a rational number is non-terminating, non-recurring. While solving a problem based on this logic, you must have these key terms. And also, every real number can be represented on a number line in terms of unique manner. If you have an converse analysis, every point on the number line represents one and only real number. So the process of visualization of representing a decimal expansion on the number line is considered and said to be called as the process of successive magnification. We'll see some examples for terminating and non-terminating concepts. Terminating is ending up. That is in terms of division 15 divided by 3. So 15 gets cancelled by 3, we'll get an answer of 5. 76 divided by 2, it's 38. 49 divided by 7, it's 7. 545 divided by 5, it's 1 out 9. So for all these, we'll be having a reminder as 0. So these are examples for terminating. If you see about the other side, that is the non-terminating, we have some examples. 5 divided by 3, if we divide this one, we'll be getting 1.66 and it goes on with some other values. Same like that, 4 divided by 9, we'll be getting 0.44 and it goes on. In the same way, if we divide 2 divided by 3, we'll be getting an answer of 0.66 and it goes on which is a kind of non-terminating one. On the same way we have 5 by 6 where we will be getting an answer of 0.833 and it goes on again. So these are some of the examples of the non-terminating one where we have the reminder that never becomes zero and it gets to be repeating after the certain stage. So this is how you need to understand the concepts of terminating and non-terminating in a clear manner. Hope you got an idea of all the concepts which we have discussed. Thank you from GTEC.